Hello, my name is Ace Gian, and this is Cover Stories. Welcome to our spooky, spectacular Halloween special. And you know what? We have a creepy cast for you guys this week, so let's get to know them. He spent so much time at the poker table that he actually bluffs when saying grace at dinner. He's actor comedian Jimmy Delavalle. Blackjack. <laughs> Some men say she's a little spicy, but that's just her pepper spray. She's producer and comedian Linnea Dominguez. You're ready to rock. All right. Yeah. Women call him the man of their dreams, but they always mispronounce his name as Freddy Krueger. He's producer and comedian Mike Cano. Her children told her about the monster living under their bed, so she claimed it as a dependent on her taxes. She's our beautiful co-host and comedian, Melissa Greenberg. Till life do us part. A British woman recently called off her wedding with her deceased fiance because he was becoming distant. You heard correctly, she was engaged to a ghost. Her soulmate recently began haunting around the wrong crowd, and this led to problems in their relationship, making her feel like nobody was there. So things were going really, really well. Where are you now? So now we've called a wedding off. Um, it was going really well until we went on holiday. And that was about last May. And then he just completely changed. In and just became comp So I think maybe he fell in with a bad crowd when we were on holiday. He kind of, he just started becoming really inconsiderate. He'd disappear for long periods of time. He'd, when he did come back, he'd bring other spirits back to the house and they'd just stay around for days. Like, so, uh, Jimmy, I'm going to go to you first on this one. Uh, <laughs> you know what I like to pretend? Because uh, we don't know who her fiancé is. I like to pretend it's someone famous or maybe someone she has a crush on. And I started thinking about that even more because I was thinking, what if she had a crush on that person and they're still alive? <laughs> well... Yeah, you know, it, here's the thing. It's like, it's it's upsetting. You know, being married, uh, I just celebrated my 17th anniversary uh, this week, and it, it's it's great to be married. And I'm thinking if this would have went and worked out, it would have been a boo to full wedding. And I'm thinking... <laughs> uh, Linnea, I'm going to go to you now. Um, uh, this it was is, going really well. So we went on holiday. I know we've had this conversation before because you've seen people abuse substances. Wouldn't you say this woman is just abusing more than the spirits we think she's abusing? Ah, that is a very good question. I didn't think of it that way. I was just trying to think of like what a dead piece of ass that was. So I'm trying to figure out if there was this substance really, involved. really well. Where are you now? <laughs> She, she obviously, I don't know, maybe she stopped taking them. And that's really, really well. Where are you now? I don't know. It's it is, crazy. yeah, it is, it is a little, little on the funky, funky side there. Uh, <laughs> Melissa, you know, I, I kind of felt like you would relate to this story a little bit. Uh, cause apparently this woman seems to be nagging her husband long after he doesn't exist anymore. Like this man can't rest in peace. Well, they were still engaged, right? right. That, like they they hadn't gotten married yet. That was her fiance. Going and, really, uh, really well. Where? Yeah, yeah. And he, um, you know, when when she said, "Oh, we'd gone on holiday," and then he started hanging out with the wrong crowd, bringing spirits home. And I thought, yeah, because he just figured. Can you imagine the vows? Like till death do us part. And then suddenly it occurred to him, oh my god, you know, like I'm never getting rid of her. <laughs> Like, 
no, not till, till death did him part. It would probably just bring him closer. You know, they'd have more in common. Right. And I think he, he got freaked out like guys do before. Eh, this is actually not that unusual a story. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, just because yeah. the guy's made up doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Mike, uh, I want you to take a look at this girl, though. Things were Just going really, really into well. her creepy, creepy eyes. Um, obviously, she's crazy, right? And um, But then I was thinking about this, staring at her. I'm like, this is the kind of girl that, even though she's kind of nuts, like, she's, what if she's telling the truth and this ghost really does exist? And then we see her with her new boyfriend, and it's like Bigfoot or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Casper. Like, it's a... Wow. I like how you say this woman's crazy like this is the only woman that's crazy out there. Uh, we're online right now with two women. I'm pretty 100% sure they're crazy as well. It's pretty much a 10 out of 10 women are crazy. Um, this is just another one. This is just one of those cases that you hear all the time in the dating world about, um, hey, I want to spook you, but I don't want to haunt you. Do you understand what's going on? I, I want to spook you, but I don't want to haunt you, haunt you. I'm here for a scary good time, but then I got to go my own way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got heaven. I got hell. I got a lot of stuff going on. I can't spend all my time with you, woman. Do you understand what I'm saying? First of all, she wants to date. Second of all, she wants blood diamonds. You know how women are, bro. You know how it gets with the haunted, okay? So she asked... Where are you now? That wasn't mentally. She's literally asking, where are you? She looks like she's in a storage shed with a blanket behind her. She is bumming it, bro. She was looking for a guy, you know, that's probably caught up in a probate case right now. Once she gets engaged, gets all that money from him. You know what it's like, man. <sighs> Never leave us alone. You know what, though? It's funny. It's funny. Uh, I was thinking about this because I actually looked into it and she has moved on. And I saw that she got married to another. I brought up Bigfoot, but I brought it up not knowing that she actually went on and married. Apparently, she has a thing for picking up dudes at the cemetery. And this was actual footage of their wedding. I just wanted you guys to take a look at this. Uh, this was the groom and his best man at the wedding. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? This Disney-inspired Halloween decoration became the local hot spot in Riverside, California. In fact, the decorations were so intense, the local fire department received countless calls of a house fire. The harbor master is seen here. Explain more. It's the Halloween house that has the whole neighborhood screaming. <coughs> but the real fright comes from the flames ripping through the living room. They look so real. A handful of people have actually called 911 to report a house fire. Last we checked, they had had five, five calls. If someone's adamant enough, the fire department will call my cell phone and verify that that travis and carmen long's home in the woods neighborhood of riverside is not in fact burning to the ground it's a really good special effect thank you it looks like a real fire i stole the idea uh so melissa melissa i'm gonna go to you this first uh the when i'm looking at this is this just because like we can't do burning man or anything like that anymore so we just gotta pretend <laughs> you know what i mean I think it's awesome. It looks great. And I can't wait until their house actually burns down and nobody comes to put the fire out. Oh, it's just Maple Street. <laughs> Those guys, you know. Uh, Linnea, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think you visited this house, didn't you? I, I it was a shit show. It's th Must that that pissed me off so bad. Seriously, it's around the house. It's around the corner from my house. I'm driving home from the grocery store with my daughter, and I, I see the fire trucks coming. And then I look over and I see hundreds of people surrounding this house. And I pull over. I start crying hysterically. I start praying for these people. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, it's happening! Like the fire department isn't even here yet. There's smoke everywhere, and my daughter's like patting my back because I am seriously devastated but there's fire trucks coming and there's people so i couldn't have done anything and i came home and i was so upset really and then i found out the next day it was all a fucking halloween 
damn it! I honestly, it, I just, it just, it looked, see, it looked like a fire. You see, fellas, that? you see what it takes to to uh, get Lania to believe you? You can make up <laughs> anything. Now, you know what's funny? It actually takes me back, Melissa, it takes me back as like what you said about what if they have a real fire? I just love how there's going to be this intense, crazy fire and people are going to be like, man, they really went all out this year. And <laughs> Right, the pyrotechnics are. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's just all <laughs> crusty and stuff. Hey, Mike, uh, what it, when you look at this? Oh, I can't use that shot. Uh, when you look at this, um, what do you think about like they spent so much money on decorations and stuff? How funny would that be if these kids show up during Halloween and they don't have any money for candy, so they didn't give any candy out? Well, I don't think they're going to have a lot of money for much because if you watch the video, you can hear them playing the song Pirates of the Caribbean. So two words for you, lawsuit. Disney does not play around with their property, their intellectual property. They're going to pirate your bank account and take every dollar for using that sound. They even got the dude at the very end saying, oh, I jacked the idea. Uh, stupidest idea ever. And the only reason people thought it was on fire, because that's a known meth neighborhood. And meth is very explosive. And we all know this about Riverside. Just take a look at Alinea, okay? Case in point, all right? So just be ready for it. Lawyer up now. The, uh, it, it, yeah, well, uh, you know, it's funny. I was saying that about the, about the uh, not having candy. I don't know if anybody's ever had a, a situation where you, had trick-or-treaters and you didn't have candy i did a uh every year my girl and i would buy candy and nobody would show up to our apartment and so finally one year i didn't buy any and that was the year that kids showed up to our stupid apartment and i was so pissed off and freaking out because i felt bad there's like little kids in costume right outside our door and so i actually had had a cupboard of protein bars and I gave away the protein <laughs> bars and, and, and everyone, everyone made fun of me. But, uh, however, one of the kids, um, I, I, I kept in touch with one of the kids and it turned out, uh, this happened. I didn't realize it. Giliano store completed the stunt on an Italian <laughs> TV show before a live audience. His performance was an effortless display. Of incredible Those strength. are my baby photos, man. Stop embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jimmy, uh, you know, we talked about them going all out and everything. Uh, you seem like a bargain guy. Do you go all out at the 99 cent store? Like uh, with some well, 99 cent flames? Well, well, well yeah, that's, that's so funny. First off, I, I want to comment on this as you guys all have, and we've all had our own takes on it. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to leave California is because of these freaking fires. I'm like, okay, I'm done with these fires. And then I realized, holy shit, this is what happened. This house started and every fucking county or every town is like, we got to keep up with the Joneses. We got to have a better fire. So then Rivers, it has a fire and then they're having fires in Santa Clarita. So that's what, this is what the fuck happened. This, this guy is an asshole. And that's why there's fires all over California because of this guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's supposed to look like a real fire. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> what, that's it's a I gender think. reveal. Yeah. <laughs> first the gender reveal, then the pirate. Yeah. Yeah. And, there, and there's no doubt about the whole 99 cent store. He def this is definitely 99 cent uh, decorations. Like, he's probably got birthday decorations in there. He's got funeral decorations. He's got anything that he could get at the 99-cent store. He's got, like, a sandbox in the front. You're like, where the fuck is a sandbox? Oh, uh, this for the brain. <laughs> you know, like, he just – it's like he had a talk. Like, he was a ghoul. Like, but that's who, how he really talks. He's talking, yeah, that's how we support. And, and that and Mike mentioned the math. That dude is high as fuck. And that is that is no doubt he's smoking. He's handing out little little crack pipes to the kids. Oh, you get a crack pipe, and hey, you get a crack pipe. So that's what I'm thinking. Did you notice? Did you notice his mask? It was a front toward the enemy. Like this dude is all in. Like he's just he's military guy, dude. He's he's hiding all his missing teeth, not COVID safe. He, that's he, what's going on right yeah. there. He's kind of reminding me of the guy from uh, from uh, Tropic Thunder that faked not having his hands and stuff you know just so he could be the guy from nam who was good with explosives 
Oh my God. It's just yeah. so hard to laugh at it. And then I posted how sad and how upset it made me and how much it was like, <laughs> looked real and fucking Ace liked it. You thought that was funny. I really thought you were joking when I read that. And then, yeah, so now that I know you're sad, I, uh, I was it's even, so sad. It's I have to go better. back and unlike her post. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I'm going to go back and, and I'm going to I'm going to put bubbles on the screen and tell her, look, we're underwater. Yeah, all we're the catfish drowning. are writing down her name right now on <laughs> yeah. social media. Mm, let me see this. <laughs> the, the funniest thing of Lania was, as me and Melissa found out earlier, she didn't go for the haunted house. She went to fucking date that dude. She's dating <laughs> that dude, okay? <laughs> Hiding it behind, uh, you know, I, and he's like, he told uh, her she was, was he told totally her he was that. Johnny Depp, dude. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's like, I still live with my you. mother. I live with my mother. She's like, I live with my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, somehow we all started ragging on Linnea. We still love you, Linnea. <laughs> <I know. laughs> okay, let me have became... it. You know what it is, Linnea? It's the blonde wig. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> we got, all right, we, we got to move on. We still got two really awesome stories. This fertile free runner proved to be faster than the speed of ultrasound leaving the competition just out of breach. Here on our contract and field, when this nine-month pregnant woman took up a bet from her husband, she broke more than her water, running a mile in five minutes and 25 seconds. This avid runner trains by running five or six times a week, proving a general practitioner makes perfect. So stay out of the way, Daddy-O, this mommy's running for two. 28-year-old McKenna Myler is nine months pregnant. Her husband bet her $100 that she couldn't break an eight-minute mile. McKenna took him up on the bet and shattered his prediction, finishing the mile in five minutes oh and God. 25 seconds. McKenna, obviously a regular runner. She ran in college. Her personal best is actually 443. And her doctors did okay her continuing her training through her pregnancy. All right, Linnea, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to you first. Uh... Would you say this woman's just going through a midwife crisis? She's a bitch. Right? Oh. Yes, because for the love of God, us women that have been pregnant, are going to be pregnant, have complained about, we can't even get off the fucking couch. We can't stay awake for the love of God. We can't, our feet are swollen. We can't cook. Fuck, fuck her. For a hundred dollars. Gosh, what <laughs> bullshit. That's no, she, that's, it's not even, she's, she's been stuffed. It's not even a real baby. Is, is, so, uh, Melissa, what you're saying is, is this woman is She's not your new asshole. hero that, that's yeah. going to no. live fraternally no. in your heart? It's, no, it's women like this. And she did, her husband bet her $100. First of all, that's our money. All right. <laughs> so that's just like buying myself flowers on my birthday. You know, like, oh, here. No, that's not like. That's a hundred dollars. And it was like, oh, no big deal. She couldn't just beat the eight minute mile. She had to do the five minute mile. Right. <laughs> like what right. is that? I mean, you just have no excuse for anything anymore. I told you, you can't get out of jury duty unless you're crowning. I mean, you know, she's, you know, you know what else yeah. I noticed about this headline is, uh, let me she's see if I can pull up. The head and she's what? She sucks. Look at this headline. This headline stuck out to me like a ton of, ton of bricks though. It was like, a. Uh, Orange County runner finishes mile in under six minutes while nine months pregnant. Like they worked in 69, like they made this sexual or am I just a pervert? <laughs> yeah, it's you. Okay. Actually. Just making sure. Yeah. All right. So Jimmy, Jimmy, yeah, I'm going to go to you. Uh, I'm looking at this girl and I'm thinking this is the second story we did with a pregnant woman that's just doing crazy bizarre. Like we had the other woman who was taking her bar exam and then uh just went into labor and kept going and taking her to and now we're looking at this are we going to see a menstrual uh menstru menstrual cyclist next week like breaking <laughs> breaking all kinds of records or is this uh is this a thing to come is there something in the water what do we expect from this uh f first off um your little announcement of the bit was I had no idea that was you at first. I just thought it was like this out of work fucking horse announcer. And it's like, I knew it. 
And I was like, and then I realized it was you. So I thought that was hilarious. So I could say, and the PMS races. We come to round the thing. Oh, there's a bloody tampon there. Oh, we've got one with wings. We've got the string, the string, the pen, the PMS races. Oh, there's another. Oh, wings. It's the wings. It's the. <laughs> I'm going to have a baby. I'm going <laughs> to. So uh, I, she's. Okay. And, and the thing is, Lania mentioned about, and, and Melissa was very upset. So I would hate to upset her if I was if I was in a relationship with her because she's so upset that you bitch I can't believe you <laughs> did this because my wife uh, we don't have any kids but we have arguments about what if we had kids so I'm like look like if I see a pregnant girl and she doesn't have makeup on or she doesn't look nice I'm like you fucking get pregnant you better look nice. You better put makeup on or you better do your hair. And that's how the fuck it should be because I'm Italian. No, but no, I'm not, I'm not being a dick. But the thing was, I remember watching something and I said, look at that. Denise Richards lost all that weight after she had that bit, that body. Uh, and then she, she got pregnant with Charlie Sheen and she lost all that weight. And I said, huh? I said, so you, if we have a baby, because we were trying, I'm like, if you have a baby, you need to lose that weight, just like Denise Richards. And she goes, she lost that weight because of AIDS. I said, that makes sense. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, she, yeah. what the fuck? Who knew? Winning. <laughs> <Mike's Okay>. face. <laughs> yeah. Him and his, spl his blood splatter. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, by the way, we'll go down the list here. Uh, Mike is a serial killer. Do you have your uh, victim in front of me? There it is. It what, what yeah. was it? Fruit Loops. Okay. Uh, hey, that that no, that don't be a homophobic serial killer. Um, Jimmy is a card table, which is awesome. Look at that. Uh, he, I, I guess you could say he's Those felt are up. There's, he's felt up. A chip right there. There is a I'm chip. Felt right up. There. I'm felt <laughs> up. Like, <laughs> looks like someone doubled down right there in the midsection right there. <laughs> yeah, they did. They, they did. split the they split the tens there. Uh, <laughs> Linnea is a, uh, what are you? A rock star? A groupie? What is no, this? Yeah, kind of like a. Kind of both? <laughs> are you your she's own groupie? We're so supposed to dress up. <laughs> We're supposed to dress up. Come on, man. Hold it. I'm not oh, wearing you. a damn thing under it. That's how I roll. And, uh, and uh, <laughs> Melissa is the lady that stole my wallet outside the grocery store after she asked if I could help feed her kids. <laughs> um, <laughs> which yeah happens so mike uh going back to the pregnant lady here uh, for a second we went out of we went out to I, uh, jimmy threw me off though he was doing the thing with the voice you made me think like i wonder how those sports announcers must have had sex they're like they're like yeah baby how do you like that oh here i come here i come i'm coming uh, i'm coming and it's good yeah and then they, yeah they go back to normal so anyways uh this mike a photo, finish. <laughs> photo finish we have a photo finish we photo finish it wasn't uh, ace at all it was mike <laughs> I know you have something to say about this this uh, this <laughs> debacle. I don't even know what you would call this. Uh, I know that they asked her uh, her some of her best times, and she said ovaries from time to time. Ovaries, oh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Look at I, man. It's something I don't want to talk about, but I'll tell you what. I gotta call it what it is. Uh, this is all part of the news trying to make. America great again by pretending white people are fast. Okay, do you understand how many black people are a million times faster than that? And I know it's not as diverse as it is on this screen, all these different colors of the rainbow here, uh, but uh, black people run faster than that every day. And I was in high school, there's a bunch of pregnant people too, man, including me and my baby mama, and we ran all the time, man. If you time people run, running from the cops, they're probably run way faster than that. But, uh, you know, I think it really breaks down to the economy, who's essential and who's not. You know, whoever's essential holds all that money, man. That husband, obviously an essential worker and making her earn that money. Uh, it's it's kind of sad that they uh, are anti-vaccine, yet you'll give your baby, I don't know, the shakes coming out of the third trimester doing that. And if we promote them doing that, you're going to go from running to hurdles to, I, I, I don't know, everything. Like you said, you're going to be in there doing the, the breaststroke while ovulating. I don't, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's messy. Well, That's Orange County. Since, since, 
this is uh for all of you guys since this story uh broke this woman actually had her kid and this family of overachievers really drives me nuts because they they posted a picture of their baby dribbling and this is what it was So it was Lamar's seed in there that made her so fast. Okay, now that makes sense. Now it's making sense. She's practicing running away from her, her dude once he, he finds out what color the baby is. Okay, yeah. I so, got you. Yeah, that's what you reminded me when you said that. So, okay, let's move on to our fourth story. <laughs> It's the great Apple, Charlie Brown. Recently, Apple went nuts, peanuts, when they acquired the rights to the beloved holiday specials, ultimately ending the 40 plus year run that aired every holiday season on CBS and ABC. So, uh, Mike, uh, you know, this is weird. I, I was thinking about this a lot and any, any kid, this is just, this kind of blows my mind. Uh, this probably relates to every single one of us on, on, on the show. Anybody under the age of 30 has no clue what it felt like to see a cartoon at night. Like, especially on a school night. Mm -hmm. So when these cartoons came on, they were so crazy significant and important to us. Like, the whole universe stopped, no matter what was happening. So I guess my question to you is... Are we just too old now, and should we just die already? Well, number one, these peanuts have gone salty, for sure, okay? And the fact of the matter is, there's only about 10 to 20 viewers on ABC and CBS combined, so I understand how those 20 people are uh, pretty pissed off right now. Um, but taking it over to Apple, where everyone else is, even though I'm an Android user, I say is a smart thing to do because we were literally at Knott's Berry Farm last week, and none of the kids knew who the Peanuts were. They have a whole store called the Peanuts Store, and none of them knew who they were. They literally went in there asking for peanuts. Like, I want chili limon, I want spicy peanuts. I'm like, no, 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 no. These are different kind of peanuts. I never understood that verbiage anyways, but it's time to update it, man. Apple, do what you do. It's unacceptable. Um, Melissa, Mike brings up a point about viewership and stuff. I want to know who the hell watches Apple TV? Like, I don't even know. I, I only know one guy who watches Apple TV, and it's because he was sleeping with a girl who used to work at Apple, and she gave him Apple TV for free. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm an Android person. I currently pay for cable. We're trying to work out, like, how to do that. What Like, the fire stick and then buying all the apps. I think it's kind of the same expense, but Apple did say that they were going to make it free during like the 25th to the 27th, like right around Thanksgiving, right around yeah. Halloween. So at least yeah. your grandparents can put it on for the kids or something. I, I didn't want to weigh in on this story because I'm 52 with six year olds. So <laughs> yeah. So they know who Snoopy is. And, and Woodstock, they, they like that. But, like, I don't know how to work half the apps that they do. But I don't admit it because then it makes me look old. Is it is it the right Snoopy, like, for shizzle? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Snoopy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Penis Snoopy, sorry. Also a reference. <laughs> it just almost missed me. Yeah, <laughs> Snoop yeah. Dogg. Yeah, yeah, which... Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. He's old what? like me, too. So uh, which, yeah, which reminds me, that's a perfect segue, because, uh, Jimmy, uh, you work in Hollywood. You know all the ins and outs. I actually heard a rumor they were going to remake the Peanuts cartoon with an all-black cast, and I was looking at the cast, and they were going to change the name. For example, Pig Pen was going to be State Pen. Uh, Peppermint Patty was going to be Peppermint Schnapps, and Charlie Brown was now oh. Chocolate Brown. So... I don't know. Like, what do you t what do you feel about that? Um, so Peppermint Patty was going to be um, because we're politically correct now was going to be the lesbian, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Pig Pen was just going to be the little dirty white dude. Like we're going to call him Eminem, and uh, you know he's kind of like a little wigger. You know, like that's that's how he, he's in the hood. You know, and, and uh, I'm thinking uh, who Linus. Linus was like the, the kid who uh, becomes homeless at about 12, 13. So he's like a homeless in training. 
That's a lot because he's got his little blanket. He's all set. He's already like poss- part homeless. He's got his blanket. And then uh, what was the black kid's name? What was the the, uh, the the they had that one little black kid, that little black kid that they never invited to any of the parties. What was his name? <laughs> he was never in any of the thing. Even like Woodstock, anybody else would be there. Damn, what was his name? The little black kid. See, he didn't even have a name back then. <laughs> he was at the school did. dance, yeah. dancing. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Whatever. Franklin. Huh? Franklin. 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 Look at yeah. Melissa's hey, first God. crush. She's like, he's talking about my crush. That was my first black guy. I was with Franklin when I was little. No, so yeah, she knew. Was, it's amazing yeah. that you know, but you have kids, so that's why you know. But I mean, I love peanuts. I mean, I wanted to be the Red Baron. Um, I, I've mentioned actually Red Baron on stage before. Then people are like, who the fuck is that? Like, they don't even know who the Red Baron is. And Woodstock, yeah. in fact, uh, wait one second. Two, uh, okay, this is, I, I wasn't going to do this. I, I'm not a uh-huh. prop act, but I'm going to show you something. And you're going to get, you, your dicks are going to be hard. Even though there's two girls, the dicks will be hard. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it happens. I don't know if I'm ready to be hard on right now. He says that like it's hard for us to find a hard dick. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna to put on it. camera. It's gonna be worth it. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Thank my you. father used to work at the telephone company and he used to be a pilferer. He used to steal. I didn't plan on this. This is I'm not a prop act. Huh? What's up? What's up? Wow. Tell me that shit. That's uh, that's uh, an original. Uh, my dad made this when he worked there and then he stole it. And these never even worked. This is when you had dial tone, when you brrr, brrr. So we never even got to use it. So it actually became, he made it into a light, but it's a real. You know, the worst thing. part about that phone is every time you answer it, anybody talking, all you hear is. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> yeah, anyway. so Linnea, obviously Jimmy's excited about the remake of Peanuts called D's Nuts. Um, what is your. <laughs> What is your whole take on this situation here? Well, over well a lot like what Melissa said and what you said. Who watches Apple TV? I I really don't. I mean, I have those apps on my phone. It's one of the, or on my TV. It's one of the options. I don't watch it very much. It's, it's pretty much like four programs on there, so I don't watch it. And then she mentioned that you know at least the old people will still be able to tap into it. Old people don't know how to use a lot of the apps <laughs> on the TV and the phone. So they've actually like eliminated a huge part of their market. So they definitely need to go black, you know, just to, just to, I don't know, like diversify. I, I, then, I, then I'll tune in. I like how Mike uh, is super uncomfortable. He's the only <laughs> one that's just holding his breath. It's like, you know, it's funny. We probably should have had a, a black comic on today who would have probably yeah, went probably should have added a, a little wall. diversity, bro, before you start talking <laughs> about it. probably would have yeah, went AWOL. <laughs> and just it just gone off about how unfair it was that that there was no black transformers or something. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, post production, <laughs> post, put it in post, add it in post do, right here somewhere. Add who do we call? Middle. Who do we call? Uh, I got yeah. a little black girl. There you go. See? Hello, Fiona. Got some diversity. There you go. Well, kind of forever. All right, that's how we that's how we close it out. Uh, <laughs> All right, so I want to thank my guest again. You guys have been awesome. Happy Halloween, everyone. Ooh. Okay, so I want to thank everybody. Jimmy Delavalli, Lania Dominguez, Mike Cano, and Melissa Greenberg. This has been Cover Stories. <laughs>